Hi there, Matt Wade here, and today we're gonna to talk about the right way to present a PowerPoint slide deck during a Microsoft Teams meeting. You heard correct, there is a right way to do it. Unlike most of my videos, this one doesn't just show you options. I'm gonna actually prescribe one because, well, it's really the only good way to do it. So let's dive in. PowerPoint is likely one of the most popular apps for sharing during a Teams meeting. And there's a reason when you bring up the share options, PowerPoint takes up more than a third of it. People present slides all the time, but are they using PowerPoint to its potential when they use Teams? Most people do not. What, too clickbaity? Hey, this is a nuanced topic, so if you wanna miss out on all the considerations, that's your call, but okay, fine. If you want a TLDR, here's what it is. When you want to present a PowerPoint presentation with full PowerPoint desktop features during a Teams meeting, make sure first you're only using one monitor on your computer. Start presenting the slide deck, right click, select Use Presenter View. Now press Alt Tab to bring Teams back into the foreground and share the slides from the window selector, not the screen and not the PowerPoint selector. Now, if you wanna know why you did that, and you should because, hey, you shouldn't be blindly following advice from a random person on the internet. So keep watching. Now, back to your regularly scheduled PowerPoint program. A lot of really great features, and while this isn't a PowerPoint best practices video, I do really appreciate PowerPoint for many of its professional features, like smooth transitions, slide notes, non-distracting animations, screen annotations, and especially presenter view. Well, if you've ever tried to present a slide deck in Teams, you'll know that some of these features can be hard to find depending on which method you use to share your slides. So there's three main sharing options, and these are the only three I'm gonna be covering today. The three options, and I'm gonna to stick to this naming convention throughout the video, are the Teams built-in share, desktop window share, and presenter view share. Now, I'm gonna be doing some demos in this video, and they're actually all on Mac OS. I'm a big Mac fan and have been since college, especially since some of the Office apps are actually better on Mac than they are on Windows. Uh, but don't be scared at all. All of these features work just as well on Windows, same buttons and options even. So let's get started. Teams built-in share is the first option we're gonna discuss and it uses the built-in PowerPoint share option. The sharing drawer shows you all of your recent PowerPoint files, though note they're only the ones you've accessed in SharePoint or OneDrive. You don't see anything from your local device or from other cloud locations like Google Drive. Whether you know it or not, this method makes use of PowerPoint for the web or formerly known as PowerPoint Online. So you're getting the light version of PowerPoint when you present. Now that can work in many situations, especially if your slides are simple and straightforward. There are a couple of major upsides to this method. First, everything stays right in Teams and you have full control over your computer and its screen, unlike normal presentation mode with PowerPoint when it completely takes over your screen. The other is that your viewers can actually choose to jump ahead or backward in your slides at their own pace without impacting what others see, which is a benefit you don't get from any other PowerPoint sharing options. You can disable this if you want to keep them on the slide that you're presenting though. I generally don't like people being able to do that since it's distracting, so for me, this isn't actually a compelling feature. Now the major downsides to this method are that you're stuck with PowerPoint light. Animations and transitions are sometimes really poor, and yes, animations and transitions are incredibly powerful for your message when they're used correctly. But more importantly to me, you don't get presenter view, so no annotations, no notes, and you have absolutely no idea which slide or animation is coming up next. These downsides are the reason that I never use this method, even if it is right up in my face when I wanna share a slide deck in Teams. The only way you'll find me using Teams built-in share is once presenter view is built into PowerPoint for the web. Desktop window share, the second option, is a nice little hack for sharing your presentation from the desktop app, complete with all the transitions and animations you'd like. You won't get presenter view with this method, but you will get the safety and comfort of all the full-fledged features in the desktop app, and it won't take up your whole screen while you're presenting. Though it will include a little Chrome in the top toolbar, uh, this method is similar to what people use when they set up kiosks for people to browse at like expos or stores, except in this case, it doesn't take up the whole screen. To present this way, you need to toggle a setting. So jump into the slideshow tab and click set up slideshow, select browse by an individual and click okay. And now when you present the slideshow, it'll show your entire slide in its own window without the rest of PowerPoint showing. It's like a mini PowerPoint presentation mode. To share the window, jump into the Teams meeting, click share and select PowerPoint under the window setting. Section. And lastly, presenter view mode is my favorite way to present a slide deck during a Teams meeting, and it's really the subject of this video. 
Presenter View Share gives you all of the features of the desktop app because that's what you're using, including Presenter View. So that means you get notes, annotations, can see the upcoming slides, and can even jump around from slide to slide as much as you want. The technique is actually stupidly simple, but it's not obvious at all. So to share your presentation this way, it works best if you're only using one monitor. So if you have a second monitor, I'd actually recommend disconnecting it. And that's coming from someone who always, always uses two monitors. First, have your PowerPoint file open and start the presentation the way that you normally would. Now, alt tab back to your team's meeting and share the PowerPoint window, not the whole screen and not the PowerPoint uh, option. Then alt tab back to PowerPoint and that's where the magic happens. Right click on the slide and click use presenter view. And that's it. Wait, you're worried that the people on the other end are seeing presenter view? They're not. In fact, they didn't even see you right click because the menu isn't part of the window. For them, nothing happened. While on your side, you just went from lo-fi to hi-fi in a matter of two clicks. And from here, you can do all of the stuff that you want through presenter mode, and everyone on the other side will only see slides. So why do I like this method the most? Because I get to have my cake and eat it too. Sure, the slides take up the whole screen, but that doesn't stop me from jumping around my device all I want. Alt-Tab is your best friend. If you're not an Alt-Tab person now, you will be moving forward because it's a great little trick for jumping between apps. That means I can be taking notes about a potential customer in a OneNote file during a demo without them knowing. Or I can check on the meeting itself to see if someone's raised their hand or said something that I haven't responded to. All they'll ever see is the current slide because all I'm sharing with them is that window. Frankly, I'll never look back on the other presentation options again, at least until Teams built-in share, remember I'm really talking about PowerPoint for the web when I say this, finally transitions from a PowerPoint Lite to a full-fledged version of PowerPoint. Once that day comes, I may convert, but for now, I'm sticking to the desktop app because it's a beast. But what do you think? How do you present slides during Teams meetings? What tips do you have when you're presenting? Share them in a comment below so others can learn some of your tips and hacks for better meetings in Teams. And if you like this video, a thumbs up and a subscribe is much appreciated. Thanks for watching and happy presenting.